Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. This is part two of repairing 1955 Westinghouse clock radio, model H487T5. I highly suggest going back and review part one to see the process that we took to get to this level. In this video, we're going to discuss replace non-polarized electrical cord, check the clock and repair as needed. We're going to repair or fabricate broken antenna bracket. We're going to fabricate three missing clock knobs. We'll repair plastic cabinet crack and polish the cabinet of course save cabinet decal or they call it a sticker reassemble the radio back together you're going to test the radio and hopefully everything's going to work out so let's get it started all right and this polarized cord is installed now what I did the need to take this apart since as you remember that uh, one of these wires was rubbing against right here you see this green area so there are three uh, screw this side and three others that I removed also there's a couple of clips there that is holding this plate that is also is removed I'm going to try to find out a solution for this. This wire in the top, the white one, I believe is a ground. You see how it burned out the top right here? It's all burned out. This was rubbing against here. I assume this got pretty hot and it burned the wire. So I have to unsolder this and install some type of insulation here because it's getting pretty close to the wire. And from the back here, the other one, I need to find better solution so it does not rub against here. So let's unsolder this. Of course, you want to take a picture so you remember where everything goes. Okay, this is out. Unsolder this. I'm going to change the direction on this one as well. This one needs insulation as well, like the other one. Okay, this one is out too. I'm going to install a different way. Maybe this way so it doesn't rub against that anymore. It was the only purpose I took this apart. Let's check the wire to see what type of condition it is. Let's clean it up. I want to see if there's any damage on the wire or not. All right, I'm going to remove this. I want to try to clean the glass underneath. So just lift it up like that. Of course, this comes out. I see the lens is very dirty. I want to clean that. Let's put this, this down so it doesn't get damaged. The clock is working. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, Sometimes the clock is, if it stops working, it's because of this unit and it is fixable. In my other video, I showed how to do this. I'm going to put here uh, some information about that. If you have issue with this and be able to fix it, but this one is working. So I don't need to worry about that. So this came out in one piece. So let me work on this, clean up a little bit, then put everything back together. I might cut this wire a little shorter so it doesn't hit the top again. You see how bad it is? It's eat up because of the heat. But this one was fine. There was no damage on it at all. And that's a good thing. Just notice this is not a glass. It's like a plastic. So you see how dirty it is? I'm going to clean it. I'm going to remove this piece. Because later on, when I want to install it, it's going to make it much easier to do that. I'm thinking if I pull it out like this, it comes out. This is very clean. Of course, I'm going to clean it a little bit. This is a one piece. They tape them right here to hold it. See, there are tapes here. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. It definitely need to be cleaned, as you can tell. I'm not going to use any chemical, just soap and water to clean it. All right, this is cleaned. So let's install it. See, there's two opening here, a small one goes right here where the bars are. Of course, after installing, I'm going to clean it again. This type of tape I'm going to use, tape the glass back to the frame. Let me show you a little trick. After you cut this, 
it's pretty hard to remove it from the aluminum and also this paper. The easier cuts some of this tape, as you see, I put it here, then hold it one side, and see it comes out much easier this way. Otherwise, you're going to struggle to separate this two this paper from the aluminum. Just say it's a trick. Hopefully that will help you as well. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm just bending this. They're pretty sticky, like that. All right. This goes in, of course, like this way. When it's all the way down, of course, I'm going to lift this up. You see, now I taped very well. It's not going to come out. Okay, all of them they install as you see right there. So just reassemble everything back together. Need some cleaning before installing it. All right, let's solder this back together. And the black wire, I'm going to install it this way so it doesn't rub against that again. It was going the other side as you remember, so I'm going to go different direction. Hopefully that will help. All right, this is done. The other one I'm going to solder when everything is installed. All right, what I did, I used the nail polish and polished this pointer so it would be easier to see. See here in the clock, do you have that red? So make that red as well so be able to see much easier at, at night or so. Before I solder, I want to make sure that everything is going to fit in there. Because if any of this wire hit the clock mechanism, the clock is not going to work. So it's, I want to make sure everything is away. I want to secure it with a small electrical tape back there. And this is the detail work here time now. I'm going to use electrical tape. There's not enough space here. As you see, I put a tape here around this wire so they come in the side so they don't hit any of the clock mechanism. See, this is better view, where you can't see where I installed it. All right, let's assemble this back together. Of course, this goes right here, like that. Just want to make sure one more time this is clean. Yeah, all those scratches is from other side, which I'm going to polish it later. But here is clean from inside. I think I have to install this portion first. Let's try that way. So this is how I install. This should go in first, like that. So I have to install this, otherwise the pointer could not fit in if I install the glass. So this is set. One thing I forgot to do is solder that white cord before installing this. Darn going to bring the pointer all the way here to be easier. Okay, now I can push this side like that and solder this thing right there. Okay, what I did, I shortened this white wire. Remember I had a bone mark. It was too long really. I don't want to hit the chassis at all. So see if I bring this now solder it here, it worked just perfect. It's not going to hit anything. This is just for safety, that's all it is. I'm checking in the back to see everything is fine. There's no wire heading there like in the past. Let's solder this here, then install everything back. I'm going to use a little solder here so it'll be easier to install. And the wire, I'm going to tent the wire, they call it, I believe. Okay, let's remove the old solder so it be easier to install this wire back in there. So I'm heating up the solder, you see, then I've take all the solder out. Okay, you see the hole now? Now it's going to be much easier to install. This one is done as well. Now we can push everything back. So the easiest is turn the radio this way, line everything up. Just bring it high enough so this can go in like that. 
All right. And now I can install the glass right on top of it. It's like a puzzle, you know. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to do it. Now this goes over it like that. Everything should now line up. All this work to clean the glass. <laughs> it's a lot of work to do that. Maybe you just should leave the darn thing alone. All right. Let's install this thing and get it done. Let's see if this way going to be easier to install or not. Now I'm going to put the screws here. See there's two here, one up there. These are very really small screws. All right, as soon as the stop letter go, do not force it too much. You want to break the screws. The screws are so small. You may not do the other two. Need different tools for those to install those. All right, this is installed finally. Uh, it was a little tough to put it back together. <laughs> now I'm going to put all this, so these two little clip back here. One was right here. Let me show you. It goes one right here, another other side, of course. This is again the second one. I'm going to go right here. If you have a tool like this, you just put it over it and press it inside like that. So both sides are installed. And this radio, all these knobs was missing. So I had to fabricate all those three. To save time in this video, feel free to go to my playlist and look for a fabricating missing part, which I walk you through step by step what you need to do to create any type of missing part for the radio. I had one from the other radio of mine. I duplicated here for this radio as well. It's looking pretty nice now, as you can see. Let's install these things. I tried to do my best to polish all this. I didn't want to paint them. Okay, these are both installed. You don't want to press it all the way because it's going to rub against this glass. Just give it a little space to it. You see how it has a space here? So both are installed. It's looking good. So you see I cleaned all this glass. I polished it. Nice. It looks very really good. This cardboard fall apart, so I need to fix this. Darn. This is where the antenna is hooked up, and I don't want to mess it up. I find a solution for this. As you saw, this thing fall apart since it was glued, and this is where the glue has removed some of the old glue. But the problem with this type of glue, if you just put it in the surface, it will come apart. So I'm going to try to make something uh, to put it underneath of this so this doesn't happen anymore. Let me unsolder this and it will show you the problem. I have to take this ferrite out totally to be able to work on this because I don't want to damage this coil. This is antenna coil. See so it was wrapped around it should be the same thing here. The reason they wrapped it to make sure it has a good connection. Okay, this one is out too. We're going to take the ferrite out. I'm going to put it aside. See how they made them. They want to be very careful with this, you know. These wires are so thin, very thin. Last night I repaired this with this Gorilla Groove. It's holding pretty well. I mean very strong but I'm going to put some some type of support and here you see there's still some old glue you see how it was glued you see how you see the problem and that's why the other side fall off I could leave it this way because it's pretty strong but you know I'm going to build some type of support underneath so first I have to take this out these glues are just you know temporary I call it if the two part does not connect pretty well it you see it comes off like that you see that is why look problem is they didn't bend it and they cut some portion to bend but this is like a, some type of board you know and through time you fall apart you see this is just a glue holding all together so I need to create something like this for underneath 
software has a better support. Let me work on that. You can use any cardboard like this. Uh, you see how it is? It's not corrugated. Uh, this is just the cardboard. They're pretty strong, so I'm going to use this. Again, it uh, can be any box as long as it's not corrugated. Okay? So I just wanted to see what size I want to cut this for it. Of course, I'm going to cut this much longer here. All right. So I'm going to cut this, of course. All right. So I want to make sure this is fit inside like that. So I'm going to trim it more until it fits. Right, what I did, I made two of this. I'm going to glue them together like this, then glue it to here. They're all going to be one piece then. This is what I'm going to use uh, to glue it. This is pretty strong, you know, it's never going to come apart. But I'm going to take this outside to do it because you cannot do it inside the house. I will show you after glue is being done. Let me take care of that. All right, this is done. As you can see, now this never gonna come apart. Also after, you know, this was totally dry with the glue that I showed you. Then I use this, cover the entire area with that glue. See how shiny it is? It's like a brand new. So this is never going to fall apart. See it's sitting here pretty strong. And it, there's no way this is going to come out. So all this support, it help, you know, the original product. So this is what you see when it's being installed. Let's install this in radio. All right, as soon as stop, let it go. Don't force it. Now I need to solder everything back together. All right, let's solder them. As you see, I already wrapped this one around here, the other here. If you see the picture, I'll take you with my phone. See the closest one to, to this part, it comes here. The one is away and the end goes there. As you see, it's right here. All right, that's why I took a picture to remember how to install this. Always a good idea to do that. Add some solder to my arm. No chance, add some more. All right, this one is finished as well. As you see, this radio had a crack, comes up to here. So I have to fix this and also polish all this. There's, there's tons of, hopefully I can do something about this. But let's focus on this. Let's fix this uh, crack because I don't want this crack continue. If you don't take care of it, it's going to continue. So you need to repair it from inside. It's plastic, as you can tell. It's not a bakelite. So I have to come here and fix the crack. You see it comes up to here. I have to somehow fix this so it doesn't come back let's see what's the best way to do this so what i'm doing i'm using the solder iron and i'm going to melt this plastic together from inside not outside all right and this they called welding plastic that's the best method to use again my goal is for this doesn't come back that's all it is if you don't fix it the crack get worse in plastic. I'm smoothing it out. You want to adjust the temperature here. You don't want it too hot. Then I can use sandpaper and smooth it out. Okay, that should be fine. Very fine sandpaper, you know, like that. I'm going to polish it. It's going to look much better. See, it's much better. 
I could make it just perfect, but you know, again, it's going to take a lot of time. I don't want to take too much material out. Goal is the crack does not continue. All right. Now I'm going to focus here in the top. Let's see if I can fix this. It's going to be tough. Safe clean all this stuff. If you look at my other video, I'm going to put it up here. You can see how I polish the Bakelite or the plastic. So that's going to give you some good idea. Uh, you know, the processes that I go through to bring the shine back in plastic and, and Bakelite. Hopefully it's going to help you as well. And here it came out pretty nice too. Of course, I'm going to work on this crack a little more. This is like a born mark. You know, I could not remove it, but all others, as you see, clean very well. As you see, you can't see me <laughs> in there. Wait, I'm going to spend more time to polish it. See? It's looking very good. Much better than the way it was. See, so it came off very nice. Look how much dirt it came off. <laughs> See it bring the shine back. It will take time, but you know it came up pretty nice as you can tell. All right. So I'm gonna put some glue here. This is loose as you can see, so it's secured. If I don't take care of this, it's gonna fall apart. As the model numbers, they made them in ivory, maroon, black, and gray. This is maroon one. So let me put some glue here. And this is diluted yeah, with water. I'm going to use this to cover all this. Just put a, a layer of glue, of course, underneath. Also, I'm going to cover all this so it's protected. When it dry, it's going to be very clear. As you see the manufacturer, they put glue as well. And I dilute this glue so it lay much easier on the surface. I think that's it. Now I'm going to let it dry. When it dry, I will show you. All right, I cleaned this. I'm going to install it. You see it has a little lip here. This goes right there. See that? Right there. So this goes like this. All right. Then the other side, then you press this down and it goes in this slot right here. Now you just press it until it lock here. See right here. Both sides are installed. All right, the last thing to do is removing this speaker cover, then install it into the chassis. As you know, it has a four screws. All right, let me take care of that. CGLAM 1316 FM 94.7. This is for the sponsor by Unbound.org. The Powerball jackpot is now the fifth largest in the history of the game. Tonight's drawing is worth $747 million since there was no big winner on Saturday. There have been more than 30 drawings since the jackpot won it back on November 19th. This evening's drawing will be streamed at Powerball.com. Okay, folks, this radio is totally done. It's going to go back to the owner. Needed a lot of work, but I'm glad everything is working. And it sounds incredible, as you could tell. I'll be honest with you, it takes so much time to make these videos, editing, uploading, and make sure there's enough information that it actually makes sense, you know, if you want to follow. At this time, I want to take the opportunity and thank my subscribers and with their uplifting comments. You always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine. Again, I appreciate you. Enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day. Take care. If you're interested to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when new video being uploaded. You have a great day.